hi and welcome uh, so if you've been working with different remote sensing data sets especially from multiple sensors then you are likely to come across the problem or issue of uh, having to merge or stack images with different extents so for example um, I have here a Sentinel-2 and Sentinel-1 scene and I'm trying to um, create some maps by merging these two data sets because of the complementary information that they have and even though I have you know clipped um, the data to the area of interest that uh, I'm working with but you realize that uh, the extents are slightly different right and this can be problematic if you uh, if you want to mesh to uh, mesh these data sets for uh, further processing and you can investigate that further by checking the properties of the images so for example this is the extent of the sentinel to data take note of the projection and also the pixel size and now if we uh, go on to the sentinel one data you realize that the extent and even the projection are somehow um, different as well as the uh, pixel size so if you try to uh, mesh these two data sets you will encounter some errors so I want to quickly show you how you can deal with that using uh, R in our studio so this is a simple line of code that I have here no block of code if you want and so basically there are a few steps to go to get through this problem so first of all we require the raster package and you will import the data and reproject uh, any of the data sets to a reference data so for example if sentinel2 here is my reference image then i will um, project the uh, sentinel1 to the coordinate reference system of sentinel2 for example so it will be first of all let me import the data so it will be s one tiff and this will be s two dot so I want to project s one to match the coordinate reference system of the um s two data set to CRS from S2 and the next thing is to um, deal with the differences in the uh, extent of the data so uh, you resample again the reprojected um, Sentinel-1 data to the reference Sentinel-2 data And lastly, you just stack the two data sets together. And when you're done, you write the output to, to your disk as a raster data set. So you want to write the merged data to, you can call it whatever, Sentinel-2, Sentinel-1. Merged, for example, dot tiff. And so let's try to run this. So now the process is done. Let's try to import it into QGIS to uh, visualize the data.
and you can see that the two bands which is the VV and VH bands from Sentinel 1 has been added that's bands 11 and 12 first of all let's try uh, a near infrared force color display about changing the red color to the VH uh, band from Sentinel-1 and there you have it it's bright because it has a high volume scattering within vegetation and that's what you see there thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and ask questions if you want more of such tutorials thank you